Ja. 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 Don't engage with Israeli blood diamonds, funding war crimes and crimes against humanity. Yeah, Sean, you, you organised uh, today's uh, information stall in Grafton Street about the Israeli blood diamonds. And yeah, we're here just yeah. to raise awareness about the fact that uh, a lot of the diamonds sold in Ireland and sold worldwide, in fact, are cut and polished in Israel. It's Israel's number one export commodity, and yet, yeah, yeah. yet these diamonds are not regarded as conflict diamonds simply because they're cut and polished. Even though the Israeli diamond industry generates about one billion dollars per year in funding for the Israeli military, and as we know, the Israeli military stands accused of war crimes and crimes against humanity by the UN, yeah. UN Human Rights Council. So consumers are being conned; they're being sold these blood diamonds from Israel, and being told that they're conflict-free, and that's yeah, totally, yeah. totally false and misleading. Diamonds from Israel are not conflict-free. They fund the Israeli military. They fund the Israeli nuclear program as well. So they're funding nuclear weapons, not alone conflict, they're funding nuclear yeah. weapons in the Middle East. Yeah. So we just want to raise awareness about this, let people know that when they buy a diamond from Israel, they're helping to fund the Israeli military and fund war crimes in the Middle East. Yeah, because there's quite a lot of uh, interest today here, Sean. Yeah, the people are very, yeah. as people are looking at the information we have, and there are, a lot of people are not aware of the fact that diamonds, that Israel is, is, is a big diamond exporter, and that diamonds here in the shops in Dublin even, about 30% of them are cut and polished in Israel. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the problem for consumers is they can't tell a, an Israeli blood diamond from a diamond crafted in a country that respects human rights and international law. Yeah, so, yeah well, even, even the height you're shown, there's quite a number of people here that are uh, yeah. interested in the stall, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is good, man, Sean. Okay. You know, fair play to you for having Thank you. Up, anyway. Don't engage with Israeli blood diamonds, funding war crimes and crimes against humanity. Diamonds from Israel are not conflict free. They fund war crimes and crimes against humanity. Yes, the UN has voted. The UN made two states. The citizens in Palestine had no vote. They didn't want it. What about the Israeli citizens? There was no Israeli citizens at the time. There were Jews from Israel. At the time, 5,000 years ago, there wasn't Israelis? Not Israelis, no. J Jews, what else? No, no state didn't exist. Uh, come on. And there wasn't a Palestinian state either. Palestinian 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 Palestinian
I know my facts. You don't know your facts. I do know my facts. No I do. Know. I have been on demonstrations in the West Bank where human rights have been taken. Israel is guilty of war crimes and possible crimes against humanity. The Human Rights Council that has Libya as a member on it. The Human Rights Council that Libya of Gaddafi is a member of it. There was an option for two states and they said no and tried to kill us and now they're mad because we won the land that we live in. Because we deserve it. Because it's ours. Yeah. Crazy man. Crazy man? Crazy? You should know your place too. Because after all the Jews, uh, the Jews after all that they've been part persecuted, can't have their own little piece of land because... They deserve justice, okay? Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free, free Palestine. 